think that's it. If there's anything else, just throw it out. I love you, Nicole. <laughs> just don't say that. Don't say that. I know. I don't, don't do this to us. There is no us. Just don't sit here and beg when you know that. You know that. <laughs> Great job as wingman, asshole. Dude, she was chasing me. Hang on a minute. John, it's not like you were alone this weekend. You can't tell me you didn't get any. <sighs> Do you have any idea how heavy it is to carry you around? Probably not nearly as heavy as the list of contacts that you carry around in your cell phone. You know, you've been so great at explaining to me what's wrong with me, all the things that I need to do. My turn now. Here's what's wrong with you. You swim in this seemingly limitless sea of strange. And you don't seem to find anything remotely wrong with that. You just want them all. And that's the big difference between you and me. You want them all, I just want one. Don't bang anyone's girlfriend on the way home. Don't not bang anybody's girlfriend on the way home. When the question of whether or not we are alone in the universe was finally answered, our visitors were met with fear and hostility. The Carpellians suffered for decades under the AHA and nearly went extinct. They only survived because courageous families like the Bernardos were prepared to risk their lives to preserve their culture. It is often said that those who do not study history are doomed to repeat it, but history has consistently shown that humankind's approach toward the unknown is rarely enlightened. The AHA is just another sad chapter in the ongoing and strange tale of humankind's intolerance. Time will only tell if the Carpellians were Earth's final victims. Good evening, gentlemen. Time is limited, so I'll keep it brief. Our intel just detected a high-value target moved into Sector 7, and the primary action item for you and your team is to make contact with Major Slither. Major Slither was one of our best men till he sold out to the other side. Expect heavy resistance. He's trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat, special weapons, infantry, and espionage. So don't take any chances out there. Your orders are to neutralize the target and then report back to ComSec for debriefing. Good luck, gentlemen, and Godspeed. So let me get this straight. Vicky's sister told you that I'm holding my wife hostage here? Does it really look like I'm holding my wife here against her will? As a matter of fact, honey, come here. But I have some things I need to. Just so Mr. Blunt can hear it from you, am I keeping you here against your will? No, of course not. Why are you here? Because I love you deeply. You see, Mr. Blunt? She loves me deeply. I can see that. I mean, when I look at you, I, I see love. And honey, why do I keep you here? Because you love me. <laughs> okay, sure. But what's the real reason that I keep you here? I don't know. It's because you're a hot little number with a hard-ass body. Stand up and show the man. Not in front of him. Bruce? It's not necessary, Mr. Romwell, honestly. It's just... I insist. Go on. Stand up, honey. Turn around. Mr. Blunt, have you ever seen an ass like this before in your life? So why don't you go back and tell Vicky's sister, Veronica is it, to stay out of our business. Vicky's happy here and she's gonna stay here. Of course, if she looks anything like Vicky does, tell her she's welcome to come join us. I do have a thing for sisters. Well, I will see her in the morning. When we see each other, we also talk. So uh, I'll Give her your offer. One more thing. Don't you ever stare at my wife's ass again. 